In this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps of setting up tests inside of the Deduce Training Center, what it looks like to take one of these tests, and what kinds of results are provided to help you build inter-rater reliability across your team members. You can see here that in the Training Center home, there are instructions about how to proceed. So let's create a test. First, we decide between a code application test or code weighting. Let's look at the code application test first. First thing I'm prompted to do is select the codes that I'd like to include in this particular test. So let's just pick a couple for example. Click Next. Now I'm prompted to select the excerpts that I'd like to include in the test. Deselect All. Click Next. Now I'm prompted to provide a title for the test and a description. Save that. The test's all ready to go. So what does it look like to take one of these tests? Let's open up one that I created earlier. You can look at previous test results. I'm going to go ahead down here in the lower right and take this test. You can see that I'm presented with the codes that were specified for this test only. I'm presented with the text for the particular excerpt. And my task now is to apply the appropriate codes. You can do that by double clicking, dragging and dropping the codes into the applied tags box. I'm going to skip through this real quick. When I reach the last excerpt, click finish. And here are my results. Looks like I did pretty well except for the frequency code. My overall pool kappa is 0.8. See the individual kappas for the codes that were included in the test. And we've done some full documentation here to give the background on the use of kappa, our decision to use the pool kappa to summarize across the different items, and some rules of thumb about evaluating that result. I can also go ahead and view the code applications. So here I get to see both what the trainer had applied to each excerpt and the trainee. This is the kind of information you want to review when you're working with your team members. So let's take a look at a code weighting test. Create a new test. Code weighting. You can see here that some of the codes are grayed out. These are codes that wouldn't have a weighting scale associated with them. Select a few excerpts. Provide a title. And save that. So what does it look like to take one of these tests? Let's go ahead and take one of the weighting tests I've set up earlier. Take that test. When taking a code weighting test, we're again presented with the excerpt text and the codes that were applied. And our task is to set the appropriate weight for the excerpt. So how do we do? You can see that overall, 0.92, we did very well on this test. For the reading by primary caretaker, we did perfectly. We see we had Pearson's correlation coefficient here of 1.0. And you can see here that reading by others, Pearson's correlation coefficient isn't defined because there was no variation in either the expert rating or the trainee. Despite Pearson's correlation not being defined, you can see we get other information about the relative difference between the ratings by the expert and the trainee. Let's go ahead and view those code applications. Got that one. Got that one. Missed that one. And again, we provided a background on Pearson's correlation coefficient and a link to a table of critical values so you can determine the statistical significance of your results. So that's it. Here at Deduce, we're strong believers on the importance of inter-rater reliability for qualitative and mixed methods research. And we hope you'll find the Training Center a convenient tool so that you can evaluate and document the rigor in how you've carried out your research. Happy training!